Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. I'm going to attach an article on the Los Angeles Times. In Los Angeles, homicides are down, but violent crime is up for the fourth year in a row. Mm -hmm. Homicides and gun violence were down in Los Angeles in 2017, a payoff of building closer ties between police and communities and increased efforts to remove firearms from the street, officials said. The 6% decline in homicides was a reversal from the increases of the previous two years. There were 271 homicides through December 16, compared with 289 last year. The number of shooting victims was also down by 11% from 2016. Hmm. Angelonians are far less likely to be murdered than in the 1990s, when homicides peaked at 1,094 in a single year. But there were other more ominous trends in the year-end tally of crime in the city. Violent crime was up for the fourth year in a row, fueled by 6% increase in robberies and 5% spike in aggravated assault. Property crime also ticked higher for the third year in a row, up 1% over last year. And then you've got graphs of violent crimes from 215, 16, 17, property crime, etc., etc. Now, what do you think is going to happen now that California is a sanctuary state? Huh? Well, I got to believe that the numbers will be dramatically higher in 218, 219, and 220. And they're not going to begin to decline. They won't. Why? Opiate. That's why. The politicians in California could care less about the people. The argument that they use is, well, yeah, but the citizens voted for it. Okay, so if they vote for bestiality, you're going to think that's okay too, huh? If they vote to lower the age of consent to 10, you're going to think that's okay too? Stop with the bullshit, all right? The California whacked out Democrats are only interested in one thing. The majority of states that allow their citizens to smoke recreational marijuana, I believe that they're all blue states. What does that tell you? Hmm? You know what it tells me, don't you? Read the article. Let me know what you think. You sure as hell know what I think. Thanks for listening.